there is a batelier, everyone. And this batelier is actually astoundingly close to the road and hasn't flown away. Its partner, who d they definitely live around here, this couple of batelier's, its partner came up off the ground here, which led me to believe that there was something that had recently died somewhere around here. And the fact that this one is sitting still and not flying away, because normally they don't let us get this close to them, indicates that maybe there is something, maybe a snake they've killed or something like that. I don't think it's anything large, because um, the other one wouldn't have been on the ground if it had been something too big, or if it, there had been a predator present. Anyway, just enjoy the sight of that magnificent battalier. I think it's just wonderful. I think that's the male. I can't see exactly. Let me have a look with my binoculars. No, I think that's the female. See, you've got the brown all the way down the wing. Very beautiful. That very hooked beak. Indicative of the raptors and that red face. They really are very special birds, and you can see the primary flight feathers there. They're the ones just sticking out the bottom of the branch there. And those stick out, look at him walking, her walking. You see how they stick out beyond where the tail extends, and that is immediately, if you've never seen a battalier before, it's immediately indicative of this very short-tailed eagle. And that sound, I don't know if you can hear it. The whole flock of ox pickers flying past on their way to find a herd of buffalo or some nyala or impala to sit on. It's amazing how a bird is able to turn its head so far around. That's 180 degrees there. And constantly just making little adjustments, preening the feathers. Watching us very carefully. Taking oil from the glands underneath the, the neck there and then spreading that oil throughout the feathers. Making sure that all the barbs and barbules and barbasols of the flight feathers are stuck together perfectly. So that when she does eventually take off today, she doesn't plummet to the ground, unfortunately. <laughs> 